This is Ryan from Better Tattooing. We're making pairs of videos on, on average. <laughs> I don't know. We're just doing videos. We're going to be going on the other side of the video that we just made. Um, we're going to be talking about realistic expectations of cover-ups if you are a tattooer, not a client. All right. All right, now that's over. Tattoo artists, how do we approach cover-ups? Uh, realistic, you know, being realistic with ourselves and with the clients. So we'll put this up here to begin with, right? Four clients. As artists, yeah, I can't multitask, guys. Just stop. Whenever I like do this in front of people instead of in front of a video camera, people are just like. Why are you pausing? <laughs> I can't multitask. Anyways, um, <laughs> should put like by men in an office. Anyways, okay, so as an artist, we're gonna be going and doing a cover-up. There's a few things we need to think about to be approaching the design in a way that is gonna be beneficial and like creating realistic expectations for the person who's getting it, right? Um, and we can just do this pretty quick, actually, because I think that most of us in the industry, if you've been tattooing, you know, for at least a couple of years, you've done cover-ups, right? Um, normally the first cover-up that you've done, I won't say, I know there's gonna be superstars out there like everything I do is perfect. Um, but for the rest of us, right, who aren't superstars, the first cover-ups that you do are gonna be garbage. Uh, it might just be something that you've done yourself that you're trying to get rid of or fix or repair or whatever, right? Um, so as you get into this like aspect of trying to repair or cover up, most people just start to turn away. I've done like three of them. I'm like, oh, I don't wanna do this anymore. For uh, others out there, it becomes this obsession of trying to make like something good out of something that's bad, right? So the first thing that we wanna be realistic about, right, is our approach as a tattooer, approach as an artist. Uh, we have another video about types of cover-ups, right? If you have like, you know, the blast over cover up, right? A redirect or a work in um, about how to actually look at the design and see how you can do something with it, right? Like, so if somebody comes in with an arm that's solid black and they're like, I wanna have yellow flowers on top of this, how are you gonna do that? Right, you're gonna have to think about that approach. Or somebody comes in with a very small tattoo, maybe just a dot with a smiley face or something on their arm, they wanna get a sleeve. It's two very different ways of trying to deal with a complex problem, right? Even, I know, you're like, it's just a smiley face, it's not that complex. It can be, you don't know. Just chill out now. <laughs> Anyways, our approach has to be really well defined, right? And when we have our approach figured out, we've gotta be able to explain it to the client effectively. This is what I see, this is how I plan on doing this, and this is what I expect the outcome to be, right? Our approach is always gonna be a hypothesis. Hypothesis, right? What is a hypothesis? It's a statement, right? Stating, just an action, this is what I expect. This is my idea, this is what I expect to happen. I'm gonna go and do the, ta the tattoo, and I'm gonna test to see if my hypothesis is nulled or not. If it comes back, I'm gonna do a good tattoo because this is why blah, 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 and it comes back as a null result, that would mean that you didn't do a good job, your hypothesis is not good, <laughs> all right? So we need to try something else. If it comes back not nulled, as far as you know, from there forward, you can try that approach again, right? until you are returned a null result. It's repeatable. I'm gonna try something, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it, replicate it over and over and over. And the variable is always gonna be the type of person you're working on. Different skin, different ages, different this, different that, right? So our approach is always gonna be the first thing that we need to try and define. Uh, the second thing we have to make sure we keep in the back of our minds uh, is going to be, because normally what happens, what you get, you get an email, you get a text, you get a message, blah, blah, blah. People are like, I want this covered up. So we're already starting to define that hypothesis, right? Um, but once you have like the actual consult, you get to figure out what's going on with the person specifically, right? So we have to figure out the gravity of this project. Sorry, I just drank a ton of coffee. Um, so the gravity of this project is gonna be the emotional, like the amount of emotional content that is being carried inside of, or weight inside of this design that you're gonna be covering up or working with, right? If it is something that means so much to this person, when you're covering it up, you're trying to remove that past trauma that went into the prep 
you know, the application, the healing of this tattoo that they're unhappy with, right? And if it's for like, my daughter passed away of cancer when she was six years old, this tattoo was supposed to symbolize her and it looks like garbage. The gravity of that project is gonna be much greater than somebody who's like, I don't know, I got this when I was drunk in Vegas and I just kinda wanna get rid of it now, right? So make sure you identify the gravity because it may change your approach, right? You may decide to use different types of images, maybe different techniques. You might take longer to do it. You might give them a different cost of whatever it's going to be. So make sure that that is being defined, right? Um, and remember, always go back and, and like retool your hypothesis with this if you need to when you're going through, right? Every client, you're going to be looking at it a little bit differently and make sure that you're like always identifying what maybe you can do to just fit it to that person, right? As opposed to the screen on our tablet or our piece of paper that we're working with. Um, we'll go with the last one here, which realistically, these are like the two biggest things, right? That I'm always worried about, you know, when I'm thinking about being realistic, right? Is that, that approach, like, am I going to try to actually cover this up? Am I going to try to like, just put this aside, something, put something behind it or whatever, right? And how that person is approaching it is like the biggest things that should come into, in my opinion, the, the most important things that should come into the actual aspect or design of the tattoo, right? Um, <clears throat> But the last one we always need to think about with this, right? How do you spell budget again? Jeez, Ryan. <laughs> we'll just do dollar signs. If I misspelt that, it's fine. I'm super duper tired today. Um, so the budget of the person is going to be the last thing we need to think about. We need to be realistic with the budget. If somebody comes in with a sleeve of tribal and they're like, I want to cover this up with a dragon, I got 500 bucks. Yeah, that's not realistic. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, always make sure for the clients as an artist that we're going to be very, very, very specific and not only having our approach guide what the budget is, but also the gravity of it, right? If this is something that is going to like really heal the person, maybe you want to give them a break on the price. Maybe you don't, maybe you don't want to carry that stuff and they should pay you to make sure that you can do a good enough job that you're not going to be distracted by what they're going through, right? Whatever it is, that budget's going to be one of the biggest things that we want to like make sure we clearly express to the person that we're dealing with. A lot of people will say, we'll just do it by the hour. I got gotcha. you. We had a talk, I was on Reddit, I think, the other day, and people were like, I don't feel comfortable doing flat rates, blah, 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 especially with cover ups. And it is because you don't know how long it's going to take. You don't know this, you don't know that. It doesn't matter, right? If you can figure a budget, set two sides low end, high end. If we end up in the middle, we can be happy, but make people more prepared to deal with the actual cost of the tattoo. That way that they know. If there is a realistic expectation based on the approach, they agree with the hypothesis and they understand the gravity of the, the actual project to be done, they're going to understand exactly how much they're going to pay and it can make the tattoo go a little bit easier. So that's it. Realistic approaches for clients as artists. Done. This is Ryan from Better Tattooing, signing off.